Welcome back to another episode of the Experts in Fire podcast. I'm your host, Mike Venard, and with me today is Randy Mowry. Today's episode is, can a fire pit burn both gas and wood? Let's get into it. Hey, Randy, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing awesome. How are you today, sir? I am fantastic. It's Friday. It's Friday. All those things, you know. (laughs) It's Friday around here. Friday. I get to spend time with you guys recording this on a beautiful Friday morning. It's not that beautiful, everybody. Don't listen to my lies. It's about 26 degrees outside. (laughs) Crunchy grass. Yeah. Feels like nine. (laughs) (laughs) Even the dog did want to stay out long this morning. (laughs) She was like, man, take my old butt back inside the house. My dogs are young and they were both standing at the patio door looking at me like, hey, open up, open up. It's still beautiful because I get to hang out with you guys and we get to do this podcast and we get to talk to people about burning both gas and wood in the same fire pit. And man, we worked hard to try and figure out a way to title this one because you can have a wood burning fire pit and you can have a gas burning fire pit. But the question that we get from a lot of homeowners is, I I want a, a pit that does both. Can I do that? And so Randy, I'm asking you, Can they? Well, let me give you the quick answer, Mike, and then we'll kind of dig into it a little bit. Since wood requires such intense heat to be burned, you should never burn wood in a gas fire pit. Now, I'll back up a bit and we'll talk about gas fire pits because what you find is most gas fire pits, um, whether you're buying it from us, if you're buying it at a box store, they are probably going to be some type of like uh, GFRC, uh, glass fiber reinforced concrete. That's what the majority of those gas fire pits folks are using these days. Let's just say that someone tries to burn wood and it, you're going to crack that casting is what's going to happen. Now, yeah, I mean, so, I mean, that's just kind of like the quick answer and kind of getting to what most gas fire pits are and why. So we can, we can run from two angles as well on what a person is thinking when they're asking that question. Typically, it's because, man, I love burning wood, and I have burned wood, and I understand burning wood. Why wouldn't I be able to just set it on that gas burner there and uh, let the wood burn, and I'll clean the ashes out? Correct. And, and that's the theory and understanding. You're, you're right on track. And that's, that's exactly, that's exactly kind of the question that people ask in the scenario of what they're thinking about when they do it, when they're shopping for the said fire pit. Right. And, and that is, I, I do understand that because man, I don't want wood burning all the time because I have to start a fire and I have to do all the different things I need to do. But man, it'd be cool to throw wood on there. And the simple answer is, nah, the structure itself isn't designed to handle the heat that those coals bring or or even that burning wood and the combustion of wood brings about so that's an easy no there let's throw on top of that though randy if you try to put wood and all of the the ash and in the different byproducts of burning wood on top of a stainless steel burner and pan or even aluminum pan what kind of damage could that do to the system itself yeah it's a good question and so that that question primarily comes when folks are looking at one of our like court and steel fire pits and then that's when they start to ask can i use gas and wood in this fire pit well just like we talked about the intense the immense heat coming off of the the wood burning and the, the ash so we always want to remember first, it's outside. We're talking outside elements, first of all. You know, so you've got the humidity. We're in Michigan. You have snow. You have rain. So now now you have somebody that wants to burn wood on this pre-existing stainless steel pan or burner. So you are going to prematurely overheat the, the burner. You're going to wear out the weep holes. They're going to fill up with water. They're going to fill up with ash because you're going to probably end up cracking the, the burner itself um, from that intense heat. So it's not going to last very long, Mike, no matter what you do trying to burn wood on it. The ash, the hot embers are, are just going to burn up the pan. They're going to warp the pan. They're going to warp the burner. It's going to crack. It's going to fill up with said outdoor elements. The, the most important part of the attempt to do that is the safety part of it because now you're deteriorating the 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 gas components that are designed to work as gas only and there's a potential hazard there mike you have fire related questions and we have answers you can email us your questions at podcast at woodlanddirect.com or give us a call at 586-221-3638 
We would love to be able to answer them right here on the Experts in Fire podcast. Yeah, I, you know, I'm sitting here thinking about the difference between how wood burns and how gas burns. Gas pushes upward. And, and be careful when I say that because I know propane's a heavy gas, so it will sink. But when it's being forced out of the tube, out of the holes, that pressure is pushing upward. There's ignition. You have flame up above, but it's all pushing upward. When you talk about wood, th- that the fuel source now is not a gas that's being forcefully pushed through a tube. The fuel source is the log. And so those flames and that heat is working around the log to eat up, along with oxygen, to eat up the wood itself. And then it falls and it pushes downward some and it just sits and it continues. I mean, one of my favorite parts of a wood burning fire is when you get that bed of coals there and you can set anything oh there. yeah that hot bed see it yeah you set anything on that and it's going to burst into flames i love that part but that's what you're doing you're turning that pan and that burner into that bed of coals that's you're literally putting it into a forge if you've ever watched those shows you know the you, you throw it into hot right you anyway the point is you don't want to do that it's going to wreck stuff it's just going to wreck it yeah you don't want to do it it's just going to ruin it and um just so outdoor fireplaces, indoor fireplaces are notorious for having what's called a gas starter pipe inside of this enclosed fireplace. And so that's like another question that some folks will come across. Well, if I can't do that, is there a way for me to just start it with a gas starter? Because I hate taking the time to get my wood fire pit started. And it's kind of the same scenario. You're you're, you're just talking about putting a metal pipe in there and it's going to spew gas out. You're going to have all the same complications as using just a regular fire pit gas burner. For for me, I, I still feel that it's just too much of a safety liability to put any kind of gas starter into a wood burning outdoor fire pit that is just going to be subject to too much of the outdoor elements and potential problems leads me back to even what you said mike about the gas you know because the easy part of doing a gas starter in an outdoor fire pit is to use the propane well right away that's always already a bad idea because of like you already mentioned Propane is heavier than air. So when that ash bed gets filled up and it's covering that burner, that gas has no place to go but down. And that's that's a potential very, very, very strong safety hazard. My answer is always no. And I try to explain it so that folks understand the reason why that it is a bad idea. Yeah, I get the I get the concept. I get what people, especially when it comes to a starter pipe, right? Absolutely. Because there are, I think of pizza ovens. We have a manufacturer that uses, a, they have a kind of a hybrid pizza oven that has a starter pipe in it and that's cool that works really well there are engineering pieces that they've put into this though to make it so that it functions properly so that it's safe so that you're not deteriorating that uh starter pipe by burning wood inside of that oven yeah it's an enclosed it's you know the pizza oven's enclosed it it's not subject to you don't have rain and everything filling the pizza oven. It's yeah, it's engineered completely different, uh, and it's designed to do that. As far as like any kind of gas, we we just don't want to do it. It just you're gonna ruin your GFRC fire pit. You're gonna ruin you know it's the safety part of it on on uh, any kind of steel fire pit. There's there's so many different things like you know we offer products called fat wood for w- starting wood fires. There's a number of us with Woodland Direct that are campers, and I, I can speak for myself and a couple others because I've seen them buy it. We buy fat wood we take it to the campground you know within minutes my fire is going you know there's so there's other things to get that wood burning fire going besides sticking a gas line in there and i can say if there are any gamers out there listening that uh, most of these guys are campers on games as well there are some who will know what i'm saying right there in that statement um so you're absolutely right though randy fatwood is a great option i use it all the time oh all the time it's just so easy my nephews my nephews think i'm a firebender um because of fatwood because i've started fires in in the rain you know Uncle Mike, it's raining. I'm like, yeah, watch this. I'm a firebender, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, let's boil it down here. It is, uh, can I burn gas and wood? If that fire pit is designed for gas, easy answer, no. No, it's, yeah, just, yeah, just easy answer. Um, can I burn both gas and wood in the same pit? 
if you're using a uh, uh, like a log lighter, you would in the back of a fireplace. It's still a stretch. It's still a stretch. You can't do that in a fire pit that has been certified for gas. We're just going to say no. That's an easy answer. Absolutely. I agree 100% with you there. If you're trying to be creative out there, the biggest warning that, that we would give, and, and it's why I would land on no as well, is gas has to be able to breathe. And Randy, you brought it up. Even if you're trying to put it into a, a stone enclosure or something of that nature to go, man, I just want something like the, the starter I have in my house, in the fireplace there. I want something in my fire pit that's going to do that too. There are better options out there because gas in those types of scenarios, you have to understand it. You need to know it. You need to know uh, how it can bust, how it can leak, how it's going to travel if it does leak. So, so many, so many things, man. Sometimes curse knowledge gets us <laughs> because we know so much. But that's our goal here is to share that with everybody else to help keep you safe, to help you understand fat wood is probably a better option if you're just looking to get the fire started. Excellent. Well, I tell you what, if you're out there and you go, you guys are idiots, you don't know what you're talking about, send us pictures. We want to see what you've done. We always want to see the pictures, right? <laughs> well, where are the other? Let us know. We want to see what's going on out there. Or if you say no, we there's a different solution, guys. This is, this is what I've done or what we've done. Give us a call. Get a hold of us. Reach out to us. This is a conversation. We love talking about this stuff. And we love being a part of the education process going out uh, to our pros and to our homeowners who are all listening just trying to pick up some knowledge and some information so don't hesitate to reach out and say guys i want to know or you should let people know or like we said you can just say you guys are dumb yes let us know we're dumb man we enjoy it either way well just just say something and, and we'd love to get back to you on it that's great that's great so thank you everyone for listening we really appreciate you tuning in uh to our podcast and randy as always really appreciate you taking the time out of your day brother and sitting down with us to do this man oh my pleasure flame on everyone flame on join us next time for fire pit materials concrete steel stainless steel copper we'll see you then